After the incredible hike with Gabby in the Popocatépetl Canyon, we met all her friends and she invited us to the most amazing and unexpected experience. A morning in a Temascal. Today Gabby and her friends invited us to a Temascal, which is the Mexican sauna. They come, come. They heat the stones here and then they're gonna put the stones there and they're gonna put drop cold water and this is gonna be very very hot like a sauna and after we're gonna have a cold shower uh, to reinforce our immune system. Let's talk a little bit about the Temascal because we could not do any footage there with our camera. It was so much more so much more of a spiritual experience than I thought yes. when I went there. I thought it's gonna be like the Mexican sauna. Yeah. But it was not at all. No. <laughs> First we went there and there a circle of many people and they all sing and they all talk about their problems and how to overcome their problems. They have like a shamanic guide yeah. which is putting the water on the hot rocks in the middle which creates all of this heat and steam. And it's like a spiritual healer at the same time. This liquid that he's putting on there is like a, I don't know, a soup out of herbs that is apparently ancient. And it smells so good. Yeah. <laughs> it smells like eucalyptus a little bit, no? It was crazy because this thing is quite small and there's a lady which is the singer and yeah. a drummer. And she has this drum and she's like dum 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 na 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 and then everyone tells the same lyrics na 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 well a little bit less Disney a little bit more mystical and it's quite crazy because this room is so small and this drum is so loud it's like too loud at first and it roars but this one is not silence and relaxing and spa this is not wellness this is working with yourself, working yeah. with your spirit, being like cleansed and being born new. Yeah. And for that you get this rhythm punched into you and then the people are screaming while they're singing. Like yeah. they're singing so loud. That and then like they scream because it's so much heat. Because in the beginning it's like okay a little bit heat but then it gets more and more heat and you go one time outside shower, other time outside shower. Till like the fourth time it's so much heat that you can almost not buried because you're dying because mm. you feel your whole body burning and then you just want to scream and take all the bad stuff out of you you just scream for your life and then in the second last or in the last two rounds i think okay. they put also this resin that they burn in the churches i don't know how it's called incense right now. well it's it has a special name church incense they put that additionally into the hot rocks which created not only a water vapor in this whole small chamber but it also created a smoke of this and this was really tough for the lungs yeah. but at the same time it had some kind of spiritual effect on me and then the la last rounds are so hot that literally everybody has to lay on the floor like this yeah, and cover your face and your hair otherwise your hair might burn people are screaming and releasing what is putting weight on their shoulders yeah and also the spiritual guide instructs us at certain times to do certain screams and scream certain words. This is a whole experience about, about being grateful for things, being grateful for being able to breathe. It's multiple times we thank Mother Nature for being here. Okay, now it passed like how many, how many weeks? Two weeks? Two weeks from that mm. and only now we can talk about the experience because we were so uh, I don't know, how are we? We're overwhelmed. So overwhelmed, first. overwhelmed by it. Because it, it was so.
lo primero que hacen es una ceremonia para sembrar lo que es un cuarzo en forma de corazón, en color rosa. Eso es lo que representa el ombligo de la, de la, del temazcal. Acuérdense que el temazcal es una representación de la madre. O sea, es como estuviste en el vientre, ¿no? Hace calor, estás a, acogido, sanas, todo. We are with the man that is the spiritual guide inside the temazcal and is the owner of this property. ¿Cómo te llamas? Valentín Calderón. ¿Desde cuántos años lo hago? Desde hace 14 años. ¿Y por qué comenzaste? Eh, por seguir los pasos de mi esposa. ¿Por qué es el Tamascal para ti? Es un lugar donde me empodero para cualquier situación con la cual vea como un reto y super, lo supero totalmente. Sí. Les recomiendo mucho el Tamascal porque finalmente aquí nos empoderamos y recobramos toda aquella fortaleza interna la cual muchas veces ni siquiera nos damos idea que existe ahí dentro, pero realmente la hay. Es verdad, es como con una experiencia espiritual casi, no son una sauna. Totalmente, algo, algo espiritual de, de mucho poder. ¿Y aquellas palabras que ustedes dicen en qué lengua? Es náhuatl, tiagui, bienvenido, bienvenida, tlazo kamati, gracias. El amor es la parte más profunda de nuestro ser que Muchos no alcanzamos a entender, pero tiene mucho poder. Entonces, obligate o interésate por reconocer tu ser. Gracias, Benito. Gracias, Benito. Gracias, Benito. Valentin is one of that persons with the heart from the size of the world, curing people every day, taking care of the environment and with a touching generosity. As long as there are still places in the world like his farm, love will never be forgotten by humanity. It was an intense experience, so we needed an intense dinner. But would a Temascal be so beautiful without Gabby and our friends? Would all the experiences in the world be worth it without someone to share it with? Maybe love means sharing moments with others. And once again, the universe gave us what we were looking for. We experienced an incredible luck. Gabby's friends were going to do a road trip to Veracruz, the eastern part of Mexico, exactly the same place where we wanted to go. So we kind of hitchhiked the car, saved some 300 kilometers and had a funny ride. Remember when I told you that Gabby is a fairy? I was not lying. Despite emanating her strong, incredible light to everyone on that table, she also gave us a book where we can ask something with our heart. Open one page and the page will guide us through the path of the answer. if someone I care about will live long and the answer was something like don't think about it because everyone dies eventually that was another reminder for every person in this wild world to live the fullest and share the special moments kindness and love with everyone around us